It's week three of the National Football League, and we'll get a look here at Derrick Henry, your standard at running back this season, pacing the league in rushing. It's the Eagles and the Saints on EA Sports. Well, first open back in 1975, there's a look inside the iconic Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Saints team as they interplay. And losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, it's been a great start to the season, back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go, but they've come out playing good fundamental football, and that might carry them a long way. Two weeks have come and gone. It's off to week three, and we're underway on EA Sports. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They will be led out by the Heisman Trophy winner from 2018 from Oklahoma, Baker Mayfield. And there was a positive in last week's loss. No interceptions thrown by him. But he only threw one touchdown pass, and you know he wants that to improve. He might even consider that as part of the reason that they couldn't take the win last time out. I believe we'll see a more aggressive version of him this week whenever they're nearing the end zone. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. Straight ahead, ETN. And some space to move right away as he's all the way up to the 30. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. More the motion man. Well, here's a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll look to throw it off play action. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. A costly penalty there. A lineman got downfield, and for the moment, that cost him six points. Still second down. On second down, ETN once more. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And Brandon, you know that expression, he just does what he does? <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. The Saints passing game in sync and moving the football. It's a first down. Mayfield. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. And that'll bring up second down. And there on your screen, Charles, the key and actives guys out this week. And there's never anything good about any injury. But there's a silver lining to them. is that it creates opportunity for someone else on the depth chart. Will they take advantage of it with good play? Or have they not prepared well, thinking they'll never get on the field and they'll go out there and hurt their team? It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Now Mayfield. Touchdown, Saints! Hunter Henry, his first touchdown here in the new campaign. The Saints will jump on top of the game's first score here this 
this afternoon. It's never any fun, Brandon, when you're the defensive team in the first drive of the game, you give up a touchdown. The key is not to get down. Make those adjustments and come back for your next series with the intent of shutting them down. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. And it's good as the Saints have a 7 to nothing lead. So that drives seven plays in length, and it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They will be led out by the Heisman Trophy winner from 2018, drafted number one overall the subsequent year, Kyler Murray. And he's had good success here already this season, throwing the football. Six touchdown passes in his two games. He's really got this offense playing with a lot of confidence, trying to establish themselves early as a Super Bowl contender. Here's the former Heisman winner. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. The numbers on the ground for Henry last week. The hat trick plus one, four trips to the end zone with his legs. And partner, you know how all the guys do when they do that little symbol now about eating, right? Keep feeding me, feeding me. They just kept feeding him and feeding him, and next thing you know, he kept getting in the end zone. We'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up third and two. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Murray now to throw. A short throw to Musgrave. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. How about his performance last week? Over 200 yards. I think his decisiveness. One cut and he goes. That's what's really made pile up the yardage. And the yardage he piled up last week. Easily honored with NFC Offensive Player of the Week. I would have voted for him. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That's good for a first down. His second catch of the opening drive. Off the option, here's Henry. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Last week, of course, the great performance, over 200 yards. He still wants to be fed. And they should. That's exactly what you should do. I have not yet met a running back that's run for over 200 yards that says the very next week, hey, let's back things up. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Derrick Henry. His fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down into those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. 
Mayfield on play action. It's hauled in by Brandon Colts. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 down at the 33. Mayfield looks to throw. That ball caught by Harrison. Touchdown, New Orleans! Marvin Harrison, Jr. with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Saints have taken the lead. So that's the rookie's first trip to the end zone, and I think it's safe to say one he'll always remember. Oh, without a doubt, that one is going to be imprinted forever. And nowadays, we're seeing rookies make a greater impact at that position at receiver than ever before, I think mainly because of the sheer volume of footballs that they catch in college. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good, and that makes the score 14-7. to The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40-yard line. And we spotlight Derrick Henry now. And you see his numbers from a week ago. He was up over 100 yards then, and he's already hit pay dirt here once in this one. We always talk about quarterbacks and receivers getting into rhythm, right? Really feeling good, finding each other downfield. I think running backs operate the same way. They can hit a good rhythm and a good stride, and he's carrying it over from last week. Arden Key, the ex-LSU Tiger there on the stop. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. They'll run it again with Henry. And he works free. Still going. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Derrick Henry with a milestone. Career touchdown number 100. Joining Curtis Martin and Franco Harris at the century mark as he continues to climb the all-time list. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Now for the point after. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Sheds off the tackle. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Saints coming out now to take the field. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Harrison. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard game, second and two. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. Etienne up the middle. And he'll push forward to the 37, gain of two. You look at this Eagle defense. Now they played extremely well last week in the win over Atlanta. I lost count of the number of turnovers that were occurring <laughs> in that game. Did. Right? I mean, I had a clicker going after a while. Five, six, seven, eight. It was unbelievable. There haven't been that many turnovers or takeaways, however you want to say, in the game since the Reagan administration. This is absolutely unreal. That was in diapers. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. They go play action. Mayfield, short pass caught by Henry. Two yards, good enough for first. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. 
found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. Mayfield now. Shifts by at the 15. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Mayfield to throw it. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. They'll try and run for the first with Corum. And this play goes nowhere, losing yardage back to the 15. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up Ford. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. From the left hash, just a 32-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And they take a 17-14 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Eagles offense and Derrick Henry set to take over once more. And he has made his presence felt to the ground game already in this first quarter. They might very well lean on him the rest of the way. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Murray now. Flush to his right. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and two. Off the option. Here's Henry. And he's going to get it down to the 33 yard line here. Jason Brett running down. It's a game of six. Now Murray off play action. Musgrave's got it out right. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Four yards the pick up, first down. The Eagles hit 2-0 and here to begin the season. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. From the gun, Murray. 
This will go to Henry out wide. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. They pick up 11 in addition to moving the chains. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Kyler Murray with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Well, fans of old school football, they got to be loving this partner. All three drives so far have ended in a touchdown and all three on the ground. And when you say fans of old school football, count me in because you just don't see ground games dominate the scoring by pounding the rock like this anymore. To me, this is refreshing. Point after, right down the middle. And that will make this a four-point game. So this drive spans seven plays. And the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as they'll get this up to the 29. The Saints offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you, you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. On second down, ETN once more. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. They'll bring a tight end in motion right. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. Underneath, caught by the tight end, Allen. And he is going to have a Saints first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 39. A gain there of 21 yards. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Short pass caught by Henry. And he is going to lose yardage here. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. To throw, Mayfield. Pass complete there to Harrison. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball. The Eagles 14. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. The tight end Henry here in motion. On first and 10, it's ETN. And they'll get to him just inside the 15, even after that strong run we witnessed. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Throwing Mayfield. He gets it to Cooks. The result only four yards there on the play, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Mayfield from the gun on third down. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. 
And the Eagles force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one possession game. And that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. They keep it with Henry on first down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Throwing now is Murray. And that will get to be off target and incomplete. But prior to that, he had hit his first six passes to start the game, so on a nice little run to begin. It feels like this offense has carried its dress rehearsal into the game. You know, because you do practice it, you do go through it, and in this case, it is clicking exactly like they drew it up. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. They're going for it. It's Murray. That's to his running back complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. the option here's Murray running left give him four yards there on the first down keeper well if you're going to run the read option typically you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end and what does that mean what are you looking for with a defensive end well you want to play off of what he does if he collapses inside towards the running back then you pull it and take it yourself outside in if he stays outside you go ahead and leave it with the running back in this case pulled it and got good yardage himself and he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22 yard line 144 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. From the gun, they'll try to run it. The linebacker, Jeremiah Wusu koromoa on the tackle. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Now Murray. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Tyreek Hill from 21 yards away. And they are able to add on to their advantage. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. That's a great point, because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench, trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out, but they'll do so fatigued. The extra point splits the uprights, and that pushes the lead up to 11. A 10-play drive that time. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyree Kill. The Eagle kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The New Orleans offense set to take over. 
A big mistake last time they were on the field, tossing that interception inside the red zone and really taking away what had been a pretty successful drive up to that point. Yeah, and I don't think there's any question about it. As they head out on the field for this drive, that whole offensive unit is just thinking of redemption. You know, they moved it really well, didn't pay it off. This time, they want to make sure that ball ends up in the end zone, and they're the ones possessing it. And a nice gain of 21 yards. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Here's Mayfield. Out route, and this is Henry with the catch. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. And they get 17 more on that one, and another first down. They'll set up to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Harrison. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Ball on the 27. Here's second and a couple. They'll look to throw again. He'll get this out to the flat for ETM. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. First They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. He'll get that complete to Harrison. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Here now, second and four. Brings up second and four at the 18-yard line. Now Mayfield. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Christian Harris. And when a team advances as far as they did, got over the 50-yard line, don't you think that drive deserved a better ending? I think he needs to get with his coaches on the sidelines, make some immediate adjustments, and that's what you do. You don't wait. You do it from series to series. Because drives like that, the end with a turnover, that's multiple times they picked him off already in this opening half. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. 152 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Now second and three. To throw, it's Murray. Complete. It's Henry. Into space at the 45. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Higgins goes in motion right. Murray now to throw. A hit as he throws there incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's second and ten. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. They call that a loss of six yards. And it's third down now. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Look at right side, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. 
excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good, and that makes it a 28-24 game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And he goes out of bounds, just shy of the 40, right around the 39. So solid starting field position. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes. Back to back, what a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two for one without ever even giving up the football. Murray going to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front the front helping the back the pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks throw right side going to be taken in by Henry and he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40 they get six that'll leave them with third and four throwing again Murray Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. He's trying to parlay that great performance last week, NFC Offensive Player of the Week in Week 2, into a great performance in Week 3. And the way he was able to do it last week, he started off doing it again this week. Energy, the way he comes up. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. And the Saints are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. And that now two interceptions thrown in the second quarter. And you know, a lot of people look at these guys and they think to themselves that maybe, possibly, they're still thinking about the first one. And they probably are. I think in this case, he's just trying to atone for the first interception. Tried a little bit too hard, maybe forced it a bit, and instead created a second one. The Saints offense and Baker Mayfield set to take over. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you two in a bit. For now, plenty of early game action around the NFL to get you caught up on, so let's get to it. We'll get started up at Cleveland Brown Stadium in Cleveland, and it's the Giants who have the lead as they approach halftime. Khalil Shakir, a touchdown reception. From there, we head down to Tennessee to check on the Titans at home in Nashville. And they trail the visiting Green Bay Packers as that one's gone to halftime. Drake May, a touchdown pass in that first half. Finally, let's get to Indianapolis to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Jamison Crowder, a touchdown reception. It was Derrick Henry, as he normally does, making his impact felt in that first half. He's over 100 yards rushing for the game already and found the end zone twice as well. We saw a couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you'd have to think, 
the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. With both of these offenses having their way, it's not likely they'll need to be doing a whole lot at halftime. But the defenses are definitely in need of some adjusting. And for the call of the second half, let's go back out to Brandon and Charles. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here are the Eagles to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and 10. Second half begins with a run by Henry. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. There's so many definitions of a complete back. I think most people think a guy can block, a guy can catch, and a guy can run. But how about when you put it all together as a runner and you can fake people out, you can be shifty, and also run with some power and break tackles, as we just saw on that pickup. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. It's no accident they've been moving the ball well all game long. This offensive line has done an excellent job adapting to everything the defense is throwing at them and creating holes for their runners. Now they'll fake the jet sweep and run up the middle with Henry. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. They're now second and nine from the 39-yard line. Here's Murray. A short throw to Musgrave. So give him two yards there on the completion. Third and seven now. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost. Oh, they've intercepted Murray for the third time. Picked up by Richie Grant. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So this whole game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception returned for a touchdown, and this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense had a read on what was going on on the offensive side of the ball and said, let's cut down our coverage a little bit. Let's be in a position to make a play on the ball. And boy, that sure turned out well for them. McLaughlin for the extra point. And that one gives him a three-point lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense and Kyler Murray headed back out onto the field. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Murray now. That one complete to Hill. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 182 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Here's Murray. 
And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. To throw is Murray. This will go to Henry out wide. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Derrick Henry, his third touchdown of the game, his eighth on the year. And the Eagles have retaken a third-quarter lead. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Saints offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Mayfield on play action. This is caught. It's Cooks. And they work this well on field across the 45. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Working out of the gun. Mayfield over the middle. Harrison showed the nice footwork and then hit and dropped shy of the 45. From the 46, here's second and three. To throw Mayfield. Down the right sideline. Touchdown, New Orleans. Travis Etienne, 46 yards. And the Saints have answered back with a third quarter touchdown of their own to retake the lead. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And we will not have a run back here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 20-yard line. The visitors' offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. Throwing now is Murray. And as we take a look at some of the highlights, we see just how impactful he's been. He and his quarterback have such a great chemistry together, and it's been on full display throughout the contest. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Henry up the middle. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Now Murray. He completes it to Boyd. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Inside handoff, Henry. 
202 yards rushing for him now in the afternoon as he just continues to pummel this defense. And he continues to rack up the yardage on the ground. That last run going to move him over 200 yards rushing now in this game alone. Second down, they go again with Henry. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Brevin Jordan. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Back to throw. Murray got this into the hands of the tight end, Jordan. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Operating from the gun. Murray over the middle complete. That's Hill. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. A first down carry for Henry. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. That's oh, a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And it's caught. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. T. Higgins, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. The Eagle kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Back now here live in New Orleans. Second and 10. It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing as we begin the fourth quarter of play. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. It's a loss of a yard, so they'll wind up crediting it with a sack, and it brings up third down. Here's Mayfield. And that is incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air. I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. 
Here's Jones on the return. Well, that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Derrick Henry trots back out there and gets ready to go. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there, and boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. That's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now. Running from the gun with Henry. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Again, it's Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. You'll forgive me if I get excited about what we just saw there, won't you? I know I'm supposed to be neutral here, but those were terrific plays back-to-back -back defensively. They know what the mission is. They've got to force a punt here if they want to have a chance to win the game. They absolutely do. Steps one and two done. Now they need this third step. From the gun on third down, Murray. And he's taken down there by the Saints. The Clemson product, D.J. Reeder, got in for the sack. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one hears away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Mayfield to throw it. And Cooks has it over the middle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. From the 35, here's second and two. Mayfield. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Throwing Mayfield. Open man here, the tight end Henry. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A big pickup of 38. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Straight ahead, ETN. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. Now Mayfield. This is caught. And he takes a pop at the end of that one. It'll be a gain of about four. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Mayfield looks to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Elijah Moore, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Saints have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. 
Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was finished off by Elijah Moore on the touchdown reception. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. Second and nine. Straight ahead, here's Tracy. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Short throw into the hands of Jordan. And some room to work. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 31-yard line. A big play that time on the catch and run. And it'll result in a fresh set of downs. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. They'll try the right side with Henry. And he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. They'll run it again with Henry. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive will take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. From here, it would be a 45-yard field goal attempt, certainly in range, but they'll look for more yardage on third down. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. Now a handoff to Henry. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. When a drive goes this long, you have to give a lot of credit to the guys up front, those big fellas, because the offensive line is putting something together that allows them to continue to control the ball. I know a lot of people think they get fatigued on a long drive. Actually, a lot of times the reverse happens. They actually get energized because they're controlling the ball and they're the ones dictating to the defense. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Murray going to throw. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. And his kick is right there. It's good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net. But they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. And a good return is he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Mayfield now. He gets it to Cooks. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. 
from the gun, Mayfield. He'll get that complete to Harrison. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. Running out of the gun with ETN. Down to about the 37. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. On second down, ETN once more. Room here to run. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Touchdown! Elijah Moore with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Saints have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And they will take a seven point lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So now the Eagles down by seven. Two minutes, 17 seconds to go. Their perfect start to the season in jeopardy unless they can score here as they've got it first and 10. He dumps it off for Henry. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Man, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice, safe throw and a good one. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. The sound reverberating here in the dome. This is third down. To throw is Murray. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Now Murray, they'll roll him out right. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henry. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they had, as well as the understand where they are in the field. Back to throw, Murray. And that is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Murray to throw. Open man is Hill. He's got it. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Well, this crowd doing their best to make a lot of racket. It's third and five. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 17-yard line. He'll look to throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. From the 17, they work on second and 10. Back to throw. 
Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. So a big play for the Eagles now as they'll go for two. They're going to try and run for it. And he is in for the two. I still can't believe they went for it, but they've got themselves a lead here late in the ball game. Well, they had guts to go for that, and they got it. Now, if you're the defense, you feel some major pressure, don't you? Well, they put it on you, haven't they? They've told you that you are the unit they believe in. We'll find out now if they can make it hold up. But, boy, just going for it in that spot. I know, right? Amazing. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Now all the focus shifts over to the Saints, trailing by one after the two-point conversion. 45 seconds remaining. Needing at least 40 yards, you'd have to think, to have a shot. Mayfield. Pass complete there to Harrison. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Here's second down and three. Mayfield into the hands of Cooks, and he goes out right around the 39. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Here's Baker escaping the pressure right. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this fourth quarter. Here comes second down. Mayfield to throw. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Now Mayfield. They throws it on the move but can't connect as that falls incomplete. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to almost certainly win the football game. And he missed it. It's no good. And that'll keep this a one-point game. Yeah, Brandon, that's a tough distance with the game on the line because you'd like to give your kicker better odds than that. Anything 50-plus, we know it's going to be difficult. And that one proved to be just a little too difficult. And now it appears it's going to cost them the football game. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to a one-possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. So for the Eagles, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll get another road date next week. As